What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and it's time for the Mystery Decks unboxing. Let's do it. Come on, any second now. This is censored for your own protection right now. For your protection. So now let's actually take a look at what's in the box one at a time. So the first thing I see here is a pen, and this is by theplayingcarddecks.com, which is pretty much where I got these six mystery decks from. So, uh, pretty good pen, writes in like black, all set there, boom, have a pen for however long I don't lose this for. So up next, it looks like they also gave this. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It says pitboxclub.com. I don't, I don't need this. But it looks like they gave like three sample cards, which are pretty nice. Like this is, this is a really nice like greenback card with the dragons on it facing both ways. I kind of like the front also. It's a bit different, but it's also, you know, sticking to the original. That's pretty cool. They also got the samurai one. This is pretty nice. Like, if you see that back, you see those samurais? Oh, those some nice samurais. Definitely wouldn't want to mess with them. And now the front of this, you can see four of diamonds. It's very different. And I don't know if you could see this on camera because of the lighting I have here. But on the sides here and here, they kind of have like a dragon, like a very long dragon on there, which is pretty cool. And then we have this dark red, brown maiden back bicycle card which again it's a bicycle card very standard stuff but i like the back it looks nice did i just miss that flick there we go so we're good with these put them over on the side there bam now let's actually take a look at the decks that came with this now i know all the decks fell out at once but trust me i didn't really actually look at them i just stuffed them back in the box as quickly as possible all right so up first we'll take this one out this is a bicycle limited edition Armageddon deck. Now, just taking a look at it right off the bat, this is not something I am super into. So, the question is, should I open it? And the answer right now is no. But you can see that design on the back. Uh, for me personally, it's not like I have to get anything against this deck. I just don't like when there's a lot of stuff going on in the back. Of course, if you guys like this, this kind of deck, Maybe I'll do a giveaway for it later on, or I don't know, give it away to someone on my Patreon. So, you know, I'll do some kind of giveaway with this deck. But yeah, I just don't like cards that have a bunch of detail on the back. I'm more of a simple, simple life kind of person, you know, living on a farm, milking my cows every morning. But honestly, not a bad start. I'm not huge about Armageddon, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so up next, pulling out a random, we'll take this one right here. All right, so up next we have Heroes of the Nations, and I have to say these look pretty cool. There's a guy, there's an archer. I don't, yeah, it's just it's a regular archer with like a skull on his head. Looks kind of cool. On the back there are these guys. I don't know who they are, but they look like they do things. So actually, I think I might want this deck. Let's open it up and see. Oh yeah. Now taking a look at these cards, I gotta say, again, like I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of you know super detailed cards, but this is really nice. It's it's so different. Like look at that. Look at those jokers. Look at that. I think I definitely want to keep at least one of these graphic design decks. These are pretty cool. I have to say, even I'm a simple guy when it comes to these things, but. It's definitely cool to have a graphic design deck. Like, look at that. Look at that king right there. That's the king of diamonds. You wanna see the king of clubs? Boom. There's the king of clubs. Pretty good looking guy. Man, I need more graphic design decks. Like what? This is nice. This is really nice. Then of course, you got that double back. This is a really nice deck. And of course, it's pretty high quality. I hate, I hate decks that are low quality decks. 
I would assume this is an air cushion finish. Does it say on here? Um, I don't think it does because I don't read that language. So if you guys know what that language is, let me know. Be a pretty nice deck. I like it. I'm looking a lot more forward to opening these up and checking them out. All right, now we got a couple more decks left. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Ooh, what is this? Ancient Warriors. United States Playing Card Company, Poker Size, Embossed Finish. I actually do not know what an embossed finish is. But you know what? I love opening cards, so let's open this up. Pretty nice. I like the handling of these cards. I like how they feel. Let's take a look. All right, we got a leprechaun here. Got a pot of gold. I kind of like that. Look at that. Let me show you that right there. Boom. Look at that. Pot of gold. Let's see the face cards. All right, we got this, this looking guy. We got the queen. Decent looking queen. We got the king. Man, he looks so smug. Look at that. Look at that king right there. He does not care. These are actually quite nice. Look at that. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool deck. I would actually never pick this out if I was actually doing this, you know, going out getting cards. I would never actually pick this out, pick these kind of decks out, but they're kind of cool. I gotta say, they're a pretty cool deck. Like, I would have never picked this out. I would have never picked this out, but I gotta say, I like these. All right, what else, what else do we got left in here? Bam. Uh, Bicycle Knights. Interesting, very interesting. Now, um, if this is the back of the deck, I'm not sure if I'd be a huge fan. It has an air cushion finish, um, playing card decks. But look at this stamp. Look at that stamp right there. Look at that. It says 1,003 out of 2,500. So I would assume they've only made 2,500 of these and I have one of them. So I I own a pretty big amount. One out of 2,500, that's like a solid less than 0.05%. Not terrible. Maybe I'll open these up at a different time. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Bam. All right, we got these cards. Alice in Wonderland. I get what I like. It says I get what I like on the side. I don't know if you guys can actually read that, but it says I get what I like over there. I mean, again, not a huge fan of this design, but it's a pretty cool deck. Oh, look at that. You got the, you got the rabbit with the, the nose and the teeth on there. That's pretty cool, pretty nifty. And right on the front, it says we're all mad here. That's pretty cool. So now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not crazy about this deck, but the amount of stuff it has on just the box, I'm definitely gonna keep this deck. So I'm gonna put it here, open it up at a later time. And now of course, there's only one deck left. Here it is. Bam, we also got some peanuts here. Throw those away. And we're pretty much done with this box as well. Yep. And this is the last deck, the guard. Now, I don't know about you, but that's how I would stand guard right there. That's me standing guard. And the second I see someone, I'd run away. But this looks pretty cool. I kind of like the design on the back. There's not a whole lot going on. There is a bit more than I generally like on the back of a card, but it looks nice. It doesn't look, you know, overdone or too simple like how I like, but it looks somewhere in the middle. Let's open this, let's open this bad boy up. Ah. Uh. I love the smell of fresh cards in the evening. Take a look, let's take a look. Okay, pretty interesting joker we got there. Take a look at that. Boom, got this joker right here. I could, I could say they're, they're good buddies. They look like they'd be good buddies. I like it, nothing too overdone. Okay, that's, actually I kind of like it. So that looks kind of cool. But again, of course the designs are more detailed. Like look at that Jack. See him right there? And look at that queen. That queen looks good. I wish I looked that good. And look at that king right there. He looks all wise and everything. So I like these cards. I really like how the frame is not like, like you know that there's a frame along the borders of the card here. 
but it's kind of like it kind of just merges into the cards itself so there's like no frame here around the king there is a bit on here and here but then here it's just like this kind of just merges right into it and i think that looks really cool oh and they gave a blank card too see what a what a nice blank card if only i had this sooner when i was doing my collab video and then they gave this card i'm not exactly sure what this card is but it could definitely use this in a trick somehow and that's pretty much it for all the decks I got. So I think these four decks, I'm 100,000 billion percent gonna keep for myself. This one I think I'd use just more for a collection. Um, so like this, in terms of like tiers, let's say this is the lowest tier here of cards I'm keeping. We'll say low tier, mid tier, and high tier. So this is like a low tier collection. I would say this is like a high tier collection. Beautiful deck. Um, I would say this deck, I would, um, hmm, I'm not sure, I'd keep this deck mid-tier, except I'd actually use this for card tricks. And this deck, we don't know. I would assume this is either, I mean, I'm probably going to use this just as a collection piece, but I would assume either mid-tier collection or high-tier collection, just for the amount of cool things it could possibly have. Like, for example, on the box, we got that key. We got that eye, it says we're all mad, Alice in Wonderland. You got that rabbit here, you got like directions here. There's just so much stuff on here. And I think this could be, that's how I'd rank it here. High tier display, mid tier use, and then low tier display. Or I could even use these cards. We'll see what happens. But there we go. These are all the decks. And that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do more of these kind of videos, definitely let me know by leaving a thumbs up or leaving your comments in the description saying how much you love this video, how much you hated this video, how much you don't care if you liked it or not. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go check out my Patreon page to help support my channel because again, your support really means so much to me. So I'll put the link to that in the description and also in the description is a link to all my social media so you can follow me on there for my photos, videos, status updates, and all that other kind of good stuff. So all that being said, I will see you in the next video. Oh wow, you guys are still here. I need to start leaving some prizes or something because why else would you stay here this long? But in the meantime, like, share, subscribe. Because if you do, you are awesome. Thanks for watching.